27, the HOA homesteader. I got a little harvesting to do. So I thought I'd bring you guys along with me. So here I go. Got to get these greens picked, man. Before they go bad. All right, I got most of the collard greens picked, as you can see. Uh, these right here, I planted from seed, and they say collard greens, but they don't look like the traditional collard greens that most of us see. I don't know if you can see the leaves. They're a little different. However, I'm gonna pick those also, and then uh, the and then I'm gonna give it like one month to see what grows back. And by February, especially by the end of February, I gotta clean this uh, garden bed out and get ready for my watermelons. And that's all about what I got going on, man. I'm gonna put a couple of plants in the ground today. And uh, I don't know, either today or tomorrow, I'm gonna be getting back with my bees. I end up harvesting two garbage bags full. About halfway done thing. We got more to go. I'm also planning cooking up some in the slow cooker. Here's the finished product. Bagged up eight bags of collards. This is the traditional looking ones and these just look a slightly different. Some leaves look just like regular and some leaves look different. So I named them S collards. Don't, don't ask me why. I just did. And like I said over here, at least two bags full of them are cooking up. So you gotta say I harvested 10 bags. And I'm gonna bury the stems back into the garden. With that said, man, this is just a little short video. And that's it for today, folks. You guys have been with C7DHOA Homesteader. And guys, remember, if you enjoy my content, hit the like button, share the videos, comment on them, hit that notification bell so you'll be notified when I, every time I release a video. And I thank you guys once again for visiting the channel. And you guys have been with C7, the HOA homesteader, and I'm out. Oh, and oh yeah, just because you may live in a HOA doesn't mean that you cannot grow food.